to do with little um, about four week old kittens. So this kitten has teeth, but they're just itty bitty and part way through. So I'd say he's just almost four weeks old. Um, he's very, like he can move around really fast, but he was found um, by someone and he didn't hiss and run away. You know, he's young enough to still be scooped up. So I'd say he's probably about four weeks, maybe almost four weeks. So I'm going to show how to, um, what I call hand feed, but basically it's for those four to five week olds that have never eaten canned food, um, just mama's milk. So what I do with them, when I get any little kitten like this, they may not know how to drink from a bowl. So I like to give them just a little bit of water <laughs> to, to make sure that they have some hydration. Oh yes, he's very ready to eat. And then I'll, I'll either take a little chunk of, of canned food and hold it up and look at him go. He's already starting to eat it. So a lot of times with these kittens, especially with little feral ones that are scared, that are maybe a little bit older, they won't um, just go after it at first. Some in the litter will, some won't. So um, I take like a little kind of maybe about this size, about pea-sized amount, and just kind of um, open their, <laughs> he doesn't need any help, but just open their little mouth and put a little bit in, and then I hold up chunks, and then I um, get them to kind of get used to it. And if they won't, because some won't, then you just um, syringe in some formula. Um, sometimes when people get little four to five week old kittens, they want to get a bottle and start bottle feeding, but if they have teeth, they're, they're gonna bite down on the bottle probably. So if they need that extra formula um, for that in-between before they understand how to eat solid food, then I'll get a syringe and I'll syringe in the formula um, because we do wanna make sure they're eating. If they're not getting the hang of canned food, we wanna make sure that they have the formula. Um, and we wanna make sure they still have enough water too because they really are probably not gonna know how to drink. Um, and he, like, he got some in, but he didn't get a whole lot. So this would be a good age to feed a little bit of formula, um, a little bit of this. You could try mixing some of this with formula. Every kitten's gonna be different, every litter. They're all gonna be just a kind of a couple days apart in development. So you'll just kind of have to go at their pace. Um, I'm gonna give him a little bit of dewormer. So I'm gonna squirt that in. And then I like to give some water after so he doesn't just have sticky dewormer mouth. Make sure you have enough water. Yeah, and he's very excited to eat, so that's great. But I think he's gonna be at the age, since he's not maybe quite four weeks, maybe he's like a two or three days off of four weeks, <laughs> he's probably gonna need a little bit of formula in there too, and just um, to kind of have, to have um, food offered often. So I like to leave the dry kibble out for them to kind of learn at their own pace to have it if they want it. Um, and then just offer the other stuff really often. And you can leave some of this with them too and see if they'll eat it when you're not here. And He's really, a great eater. And really often, how, like every couple hours or? Um, I'd say every four hours. Okay. But um, during the night, I would just leave the wet food with them. Got it. And then can go longer at night. I'd still probably at this age, um, maybe let them go six hours or seven at night, um, unless you can tell they're eating on their own with what they have in the cage. So if they're closer to five weeks, they're totally fine overnight because you can just leave stuff in with them and they should get the hang of it in a day or two. He's just a little bit younger than that. So, and he is a boy. He's got, he's got his little boy stuff down there. So, and he's so adorable. So cute. 